This week on TSC Clay News. Britain's ladies take gold at the World Compact. DTL's Mr. 100-300 does it again. And they're having a blast at Urchfont to help the great bustard. Welcome to TSC. Britain's teams put in a tremendous performance at the World Compact Sporting Championship at EJ Churchill Shooting Ground last week. The ladies team of Amy Eastman, Linda Grayson and Cheryl Hall won gold in their category. The veterans and super veterans teams also took gold, while Britain's juniors won silver, just two targets behind the French juniors on 547. In the individual events, Richard Folds and Mark Windsor tied in fourth place, with George Digweed just one target behind. Glenn Hunt won veterans, while John Bidwell took the super vets and Josh Bridges won the juniors. All in all, it was a terrific effort by the British team. Paul Chaplow added to his impressive record by winning the Clay Shooting Classic DTL event at Bywell Shooting Ground. Paul's known as Mr. 100-300, and he lived up to his nickname by shooting a perfect 100-300 on the first day. He finished on 200-598, taking high gun and double A class ahead of Ian Malarkey on 199-594. Urchfond Clay Club hosted a charity clay shoot in aid of the Great Bustard Group. The group has successfully reintroduced the odd-looking birds to Salisbury Plain. David Waters, who's a keen black powder enthusiast, couldn't resist the opportunity to celebrate by firing this cannon. This Saturday sees the rescheduled final of the Novice Schools Challenge. The series of shoots gives 12 to 21-year-olds the chance to try their skill at competition shooting. It's been running throughout August, and this year has proved more popular than ever, with some real talent coming through. On Saturday, the top shooters from the series will be at the Oxford Gun Company to shoot it out for some great prizes. Why not come along and cheer on some of the brightest young shooting stars of the future? It's an exciting time for young shooters, with the TSC Winter Series kicking off on the 8th of October. It's the biggest young shots competition in Britain, open to anyone under 21 and in full-time education. There are four 50-bird competitions in the series, with the final on the 26th of November. There's more than four and a half thousand pounds worth of prizes to be won, thanks to some terrific sponsorship from companies like Edgar Brothers, Crutes, Ribeye, Evolution Sunglasses, Jack Pike, and Sealand. Find out more at theschoolschallenge.co.uk. And don't forget, it's less than a month to go before the Oxford Festival of Shooting, on Saturday the 24th of September. It'll be a great day out for the whole family, with trade stands, have-a-go shooting, archery, axe throwing, the Bear Grylls Survival Academy, ferrets and gun dogs. There's a sporting competition with some great prizes, including a Bowman Auto Trap for high gun. Put the date in your diary and find out more at oxfordguncompany.co.uk. And finally, Here's our weekly pick of the shooting videos on YouTube. With the British Open Sporting starting tomorrow at High Lodge Shooting Ground, here's a taster of what we can expect. It's a run-through of the Clay Shooting Classic event, held at that ground in June and filmed by Nicholas Berry. Let's hope the weather stays as good this week. To watch it, click on the link in the description below. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Do please support the sponsors who make this channel possible. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to follow our coverage of everything clay shooting.